video we've got another unboxing and obviously this was sent out to the channel by ADE so let's get this opened up and let me show you what they sent out to the channel all right so we're going to open up the box and we've got the owner's manual that we get with every ADE and as you can see this is the Apollo this is the RD3-030. This is another pro model of the Apollo, but this is a prototype, just like the last one that we reviewed. And as of right now, there are only 50 of these made. And I do not have an ETA on these when they are going to be released. So we open up the bag, and we've got the owner's manual. We've got the warranty paper, the fact sheet, we've got the AD lens clean cloth, and one thing I've really liked here lately that ADE's been doing, they have been sending about any screw that you need to mount these optics. We've got the famous Oh, it's not a double-sided anymore. So this one is just a regular flathead screwdriver. We've got this tool again that we have never used. And we've got the red dot. And that is everything in the box. All right, now this dot has cover on it weather shield whatever you want to call it and it is rubber this one fits nice and tight so let's get this off of here and as you can see this is a very small dot and this is actually the RMS RMSC footprint so this is basically a dot like the 407K or the Swamp Fox Sentinel or the Shield Optic. So this is made more for a micro compact handgun. Now let's talk about the most exciting part of this optic. This is ADE's first solar powered optic so this is got the little solar panel on it just like the top of the hollow sun and this is also the first one that i know of that is auto dimming sensor on this so this has no buttons the dot is always on it will adjust to the lighting conditions wherever you're at i'm looking at it right now and it is very bright and we're underneath a lot of light I'm not having any issues seeing it and this dot has very little starburst to it so I'm really liking that now one nice thing is being that this does have the solar power on top the battery life on this is 50,000 hours and that is probably because this is not running on your typical micro dot 1632 battery this is actually running on a CR2032 battery. Now, the only thing that I don't like right off the bat, it does go in on the bottom of the optic. Um, but due to the size, I can see why they would have had an issue trying to top load it. Possibly could have side loaded it, but I don't think they would have been able to use the 2032. So if you're not familiar with how that auto dimming works, I do have the Swamp Fox Sentinel. It is on my SIG P365XL, which we're going to get out here in a second. And the battery and the dot that's on that gun has been on it for a couple years now, and I have not had to change a battery yet. Now with this being solar powered, when it's out in the sunlight, I would assume the battery is going to last longer than it has even on my Sentinel. Now as far as auto dimming goes, I have played around with this a little bit with the Sentinel. 
If you're out in really bright sunlight, the dot will be at its brightest. If you have it, say, on your nightstand gun and you're in a dimly lit room, it will dim itself down so it's not blinding you when you're looking through it. So that is how that works. One other thing that I already like about it, it does have the two white dot iron sight built into the back to co-witness with the front sight on your gun. Alright, so the Apollo is made out of aircraft grade aluminum and it does have a black anodized finish on it. It does have multi-coated lenses and the lens on this is 22 millimeter by 16 millimeter. Now, as far as dimensions go on this, I do not have anything yet on the length or the width or the height of this dot, but I can tell you that it is pretty small. All right, now I have two dots that we can compare this to. This is the Swamp Fox Sentinel, and we're looking at about the same size as far as height goes. The window is just a little bit wider on the Apollo and it is slightly maybe taller. I think the height's about the same but it's definitely wider than the Sentinel. Alright and then on my Rock Island we have the Hollow Sun 507K so lengthwise we're the same let's look at it from back here the Apollo has definitely got a wider window on it and I would say it's a tad bit taller where the hollow sun is more flat across the top where this one is rounded so out of the three micro dots that we have here the Apollo is definitely the biggest dot out of the three. All right, I went ahead, got it mounted up on the 365 XL. I wanted to put it on my carry gun because, well, it's an RMSC cut optic and it's made for guns like this. So I want to test it on this. We've already tested the NUA and the NUA Pro on this gun and this dot falls into that category. A couple things I want to go over real quick. I took the battery out while I was downstairs on the bench installing this and uh, I held it underneath my lighting downstairs and the dot worked perfect with just the solar panel and not having a battery in it. So that was pretty cool. Uh, one little issue I did have, this dot fit this slide super super tight in fact i had to get it lined up and i actually had to tap the back down with uh, a rubber mallet so i went ahead and emailed my rep over at ade that's why this is a prototype you know they send it out to guys like me to test these out tell them what's right what's wrong with them but they're basically what they're going to have to do is shorten up the production model a little bit here in the back that will definitely probably have to be done because what concerns me is i've had four different style rmsc dots on here and they have all fit the 365 xl perfect so like i said it's on it's flush it's tightened down perfect i used uh, 18 inch pounds and blue loctite the iron sights here in the back co-witness perfect with the front sight on the 365 xl so if the dot does fail you do have backup sights which is really nice so so far i'm liking what i'm seeing and uh we'll get it out to the range in the next video and we'll get this thing zeroed and test it out well i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one